this is very important thing it will make you not only a student of language and gender it will make you a researcher in the field of language and gender what researchers do they make a claim and to support that claim they collect data from data they get evidence they on the basis of that evidence either support their claim or modify it or replace it this is research so it means basically you need the skill of argumentation or critical thinking let's see how grice theory of meaning and uh, especially his maxims develop our critical thinking skill usually in composition courses which are taught at bs level in universities even in pakistan and other countries for example these days they offer expository writing to all bs programs okay here they especially focus on students critical thinking skill the argumentative power an argument is appropriate first of all if it is free from logical or and both can be possible or either of them is possible your argument is strong if it is free from logical or emotional fallacies fallacies means if something is on surface of it on face of it is true but in its reality it is false we call it a fallacy fallacies is its plural and if an argument has fallacies we call it fallacious arguments okay move logical fallacies first of all we talk about them they are flaws in reasoning when you argue you argue with reasoning they are created by three factors these fallacies in the process of reasoning are created by three factors number 1 omission you don't provide complete information number 2 oversimplification the process is very complex but you try to make it simple what do you do here you hide so many things you hide things because you don't have evidence to support them so it also creates a lot in your reasoning and the third thing is exaggeration you make something very important by using certain words even for example you often say ya yeah, or you often might have heard other things this is very important this is crucial and so on so because of these three factors logical reasoning is weakened kamzor for that for example some of these fallacies are hasty generalization you instantly jump to generalization and uh, another fallacy is begging questions are circular reasoning hasty generalization for example a person was present when uh, a factory or something like that caught fire the police arrests that person and in this news is relayed on television etc that this person was caught from the scene of fire or a blaze so he may be one of the criminals this is how hasty conclusions or generalizations are developed just because he was present over there okay similarly begging question so instead of replying something 
instead of replying to some question you in response to that ask another question to the questioner because you don't have arguments to you don't have evidence to support or to reply that question as far as emotional fallacies are concerned they are like this testimonial errors because sharukh cleans his teeth or fahad cleans his teeth with this toothbrush so this is a testimony this is a proof of effectiveness of this tooth uh, toothpaste that's why we should uh, buy it this is uh, very effective bandwagons because everybody does this so we should also do this uh, you bake you base your argument on the basis of just what everybody does so we should also do everybody is uh, buying plots so you should also buy plot instead of a car so this is band band wagon and other kind of emotional fallacy because in these fallacies you don't appeal to logic you appeal to emotions and when you appeal to emotions logic is silent and this is done deliberately knowingly to avoid a logic a another one is straw man this is a fallacy emotional fallacy here what do you do you don't have any argument you might have seen uh, talk shows on tv especially these days whenever the panelist doesn't have anything to respond to uh, what happens they uh, come uh, to abusive language allegations character assassination personal attacks and assaults so these are straw man fallacies plain folk appeal see this is very common in politicians uh, you might have seen even in pakistan so your politicians they never come to your house during floods they go to your houses and uh, they uh, they photograph themselves among common people plain folk they show themselves we are one of you so this is again emotional appeal to get their support to get their political support not to empathize or sympathize with so this is also one kind of fallacy these fallacies are used as i said when logic doesn't serve our cause so as a tool we use them both type of fallacies are taught to the students of writing that they do not uncritically believe everything that they read or that is presented to them these fallacies are common in talk shows and in chat rooms and political speeches etc and uh, similarly they are common in texts in literature and things in newspapers and things like that logical fallacies are at least 17 in number students memorize them for critical analysis of arguments and that's quite a cumbersome burdensome task the writing itself is a very difficult task really speaking if you want to write something effectively persuasively this is already a challenging job so what to talk about applying uh, fallacies and uh, identifying fallacies in the writing or avoiding fallacies in the writing that happens unconsciously or sometimes consciously such fallacies are not easy to identify and don't explain why the argument is flawed if ever you identify that here we have hasty generalization begging question post hoc fallacy i am uh, 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 calling their labels so if you identify that here this kind of logical fallacy or emotional fallacy is found you can't explain what is the reason of this fallacy and if you don't know 
what is the reason you can't offer its solution you can't offer any kind of uh, improvement in your argument researchers suggest that instead of going through this difficult practice of uh, finding out and explaining logical fallacies a better alternative is to apply maxims of cooperation suggested by grey this is how uh, they are relevant uh, to us the maxims help the maxims do what logical fallacies can't do what they do they help you to find out the flaw the reason of that flaw and the uh, redressal and improvement to remove uh, that flaw from your talk students learn that as a reader they expect the writer cooperates with them okay principle of cooperation cooperation means the writer follows four maxims which we have already explained and discussed this cooperation facilitates communication okay so communication moves on with the help of these four maxims and whenever these maxims would be violated you will point out here is the flaw and then the remaining two steps would be taken we will discuss it in the next module so up to now we have just discussed the relevance of grice maxim to better argumentation